Yo, what's good everyone? It's your boy. Today's video, Shredder vs. Wobby, the rematch. I lost to his pure zoo deck last time. I cannot afford to lose again, baby. So if you guys are ready for this video, I want you to smash the subscribe button, smash the like button, and let's get straight into it. Triff Gaming vs. Robbie. Also, make sure to go subscribe to Robbie. Show him some love. And let's go, boys. Pendulum versus a new special deck that's getting released very soon. And I think is also one of the best decks. Phoenix Enforcer, Brave Token, Elish. Come on! Versus Pure Magician, let's go. This replay is gonna be insane. And for anyone who does is not familiar with the new cards that are coming up very, very soon that Robbie is playing, you guys actually need to watch this video. So you look at his head instantly, and you see Journey of Destiny, you see Prosperity, you see Elish cards. Fuck the Elish cards, okay? Journey of Destiny is absolutely ridiculous. You guys are just gonna just witness the greatness yourselves. He starts off with Curse Out Land, so you can send the Lord to the graveyard. You activate Journey of Destiny, adding the uh, Aquamancer to discard the Golden Lord. Normal's that. This way he gets a free way into Verte. This gives him a free way that he can get Verte. Right of Aramisia gets in the Brave Token. Specials, he activates, sends these into Verte Anaconda, sends the Lord. And Verde Anaconda is going to go into another big problem in this meta that you guys are going to witness very soon. He's going to activate Pot of Prosperity here to get himself something very nice. He ends up getting a Conquistador to pair with his Golden Lord that he's going to also get. And then he activates the effect of Verte here to send the most insane combo, Phoenix in uh, Destroyer, Phoenix Enforcer. So not only is this a pop on every turn, not only does it do that, but it also comes back every single turn. It never dies. If you literally get a pop on every single turn, like your turn, his turn, your turn, every single turn, the card's ridiculous. To make matters even worse, Celestial is going to draw him two cards on his turn. So not only does it give him the most insane monster in Yu-Gi-Oh right now, but it also gives him a free pot of greed on his next turn, which is insane. Then he's going to end up setting two, three traps here, and I'm going to have to deal with a lot. I'm going to have to deal with Scarlet, Imperm, and Conch. And don't mind my stupidness, because this is the first time I've dueled this deck too. I thought, I thought that the equip spell was a quick effect, and at any time, he could bounce any card I control. If I did, if I knew that, I would have easily played this differently. But I had no idea. So I started off with Desires. Our hand's really hot. Our hand's very, very good. Very good. I, I want to get this Pengar for next turn as well. So I go Joker. My whole goal here now, I want to bait his Enforcer ASAP. I need a Gone off the field. I need a Conk Gone. I need Pengar to survive this turn. That way, on his turn, I could just start sending shit freely. And I could send the Enforcer instead of destroy it. That way, because it was my pen call, so it'll never come back. So I, I, I know exactly what I'm gonna do here. I sent Tuning Magician, like this hand's really, really good here. I'm actually gonna scale the wisdom because I only have low scales anyway, low levels anyways. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna special tuning from Grave, go Needle Fiber, and he activates Imperm. I'm like, all right, fantastic. I Pendulum Summon now. As you see, this is a great scenario. All I had to do was just recognize that this is not a quick bounce and I won the duel instantly. But me being a moron, I literally had no idea. I would have cleared through all of this so easily. Look at my board. I wasted his imperm. He only has two interruptions left. But because I thought it was three, man, I'm actually so salty about it. It cost me so much. So I go into Tornado Dragon here. This is I'm saving the Tornado Dragon for the Conquistador. Uh, he uses the Enforcer, rightfully so on that. Now that's this is where I fuck up massively. All I need to do is just recognize that he can't do that. So my next play here, I think I believe I'm going to Bagusco over here. I'm gonna save the Celestial Magician. Uh, I don't save the, the double iris because I know I have no more pen graphs left. I believe they're all banished. At this point, I'm only playing one of each pen graph. At this moment, I also recognize I want to play two. I keep the Celestial on the field so I can keep summoning him back every single turn. I attack with Baguska and I attack with Tornado Dragon. And uh, it's going to get sent to the grave. And then I destroy, destroy the Verte. And now I'm going to go into Zeus. He's going to Scarlet. I'm going to pop the Conquistor over Tornado. And look at this scenario. I'm in a very, very winning scenario over here. I have Celestial to add me Joker at the end phase. I have Tornado Dragon set up for anything I'm scared of, and I have a Zeus. So what I'm going to end up doing, I'm going to search my Joker, and I have a Pen Graph, which is massive. So right away, to make sure this card never comes back, I'm going to activate this effect to pop Lord and send the Enforcer, so Enforcer can't come back anymore. So that part's gone. He's going to end up using Lord here to send my Zeus from hand. Very good play from his end. And then what he's going to do is he's going to trigger the Scarlet. He's going to set that. He's going to activate his, uh, this card, and I don't know what, what his cards do at all. I popped, the, I popped the spell. I probably shouldn't have done that. I literally don't know what the hell his deck does. I didn't even know he could draw two until late. And then after everything, he just draws two. Look how good that is. Like, that's actually so, so good for him. He's going to pop my Celestial. And then he's going to set the Scarlet. He's going to have Scarlet, Conk. He's going to be set up very nice here. I'm going to know a uh, special summon tuning magician here. 
I'm gonna go into needle fiber, I'm gonna go into tuning, I'm gonna go into Celine. Right away, he goes Scarlet. I use Pen Graph to pop Wisdom and pop the Pen Graph. Uh, special Summon again, normal add. I was out of Magician, so I didn't want to use Wisdom's effect. I was expecting him to do that. I ended up Special Summoning everything. And even, even through all of that, we still came out victorious just to showcase exactly how powerful Magicians are. Like, that was the, like, his deck's insane. His deck is actually insane. And we ended up coming through, coming back from all of that. That's like, that's difficult, man. And now we're gonna go to game two here. Like, you guys saw his end board. You guys saw his end board. That was insane. And his end board here is gonna be even crazier. So he, he goes, uh, he normal summons Aquamancer into the best card of his deck since it's a pendulum. I don't know anything in his deck, so I have evenly matched in here, which it, I, at this point, don't side evenly match against this deck because it typically ends in a negate, which you guys are gonna see here. That'll negate it right there, Wandering Griffin Rider. What Wandering Griffin Rider does is while there's a Brave Token on the field, and it, it, you can't destroy it by battle once, it'll protect it once, it negates anything. So my evenly match is just gonna get negated. So I didn't know that it had that effect. On top of that, we're gonna deal with Prosperity now <laughs> to get him even more cards. He gets a D barrier. You already know what D barrier does to Pendulums. That absolutely fucking destroys my deck. And then after this, he's gonna go into Fusion Destiny, hard drawn. He gets to draw two. Boom, look at this. What can I do? What can I do to D barrier, let alone anything else? So I do a massive big brain play here. What I end up doing is I need a I need him to bait, I need the enforcer to be gone from the field. I need my Pengraph to survive one turn. So I'm trying to bait him into popping it. I use a pen graph effect to add. That's when he pops it. I'm like, all right, good. Now I can actually find a way to do some stuff and do damage to him. I use Oath to add the, wisdom, add the wisdom. Uh, if I really want to, I could normal wisdom attack the Artemis, but I'm not scared of it. I prefer to keep the follow-up and next turn kill him. So I have pen graph set up and I'm evenly matched. So my idea here is if I could somehow, somehow get to battle phase and he'll negate my pen graph, I evenly everything. That's my idea. Doesn't really work out in that way. Because he's just gonna pop it and then negate the other, so I lose. <laughs> but at least he was a thought that counts. That was very tough. I couldn't help play that. Now, this is my hand over here. He has Gamma, the classic Gamma Driver combo. Also has Dark Ruler and he has Golden Lord. So his hand's not the best, but honestly, neither is mine because I don't have a tuner. I don't have access to a tuner here. And a Gamma on Joker is gonna really fucking hurt me here. So he ends up using Gamma, uh, destroying that. I go into Oath and look at my hand. My hand's absolutely dog shit right now. No access to a tuner, no nothing. So what I end up doing here, I add Wisdom Eye, I Pendulum Joker and Wisdom, I'm going to save the Time Gazer in my hand, and I'm just going to put these into Dweller. The reason why is, if he opens uh, our, uh, if he opens the Aquamancer, then uh, th uh, this will stop Aquamancer, this will stop his Golden Lord cards, and I literally just need to pray that he has Golden Lord cards. So I end up using Dweller in the standby phase, and look how fucking genius I am. Look at his fucking hand. He literally, like, who the fuck goes Dweller on a, on a Brave Token... Verte Anaconda Fusion Destiny deck with a little bit of Eldritch. Only geniuses, baby, that's who. So thanks to my next level genius play Dweller, especially in the draw phase, so he doesn't hit me with the Dark Ruler. Uh, he's going to activate Lord's Effect here, sending that, and then he sets two Golden Lords, the Golden Lands, one Conk, one Scarlet. I'm like, all right, that's fine. Let's, let's see how I could do this. I Soul send Chronograph. Instantly, he sends Golden Lord. Now look how plus this play is for me. He pops the, the Souls... I use Chrono's effect, the special time gazer for my hand. And then at this point, I'm like, let's go. We actually win the duel now. We're in a very bad state. We're gonna go into I'm gonna use Ulf to add back the same time gazer as special summon. Normal summon the time gazer. Go into Selene. Go into Ulf Dragon to add back my wisdom mind. I special summon three. I go into Axis Skull Talker. Pop everything. Special Joker with Black Fang's effect to half game. What a fucking comeback. What a match. That match was insane. Big shout out to Robbie for this duel. It was a pleasure dueling against him. If you guys want to go check out his content, it will be in the link in the description below. And if you guys got this far, make sure to smash the subscribe and smash the like button. Check out the links down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!